it's time for another one in the spring maintenance this is spring maintenance number five green smurf so this is a flandria penny it's a 50 cc single speed uh, goes by 45 to 50 kilometers an hour its nickname is green smurf because i had two of these one blue one the smurf and then the green smurf uh, it's a pretty simple bike it's pretty neat it's still in a really good condition the paint is actually really cool or still really good it's a bit dirty now but okay nothing much special about this bike i think as i said all the pieces are still good still has license plate from 1990 uh, and still the original the tire pump these are pretty rare and actually get stolen a lot this bike also has the rare the straight exhaust the other bikes uh, have an exhaust that's similar to the comet let me show you these style of uh, exhausts are pretty common on the flandria bikes uh, but this one has a rare uh, straight design it's also flandria it's not aftermarket or anything uh, it needs a good cleanup but uh, yeah pretty simple but cool bike some of you might have noticed that there is a piece of uh, rag wrapped around the hubs of the wheels uh, it's a, actually a pretty simple trick to keep your hubs clean or to clean them this one is actually a bit too short but as you can see in the front this actually works pretty good the hub is pretty pretty clean and shiny so uh, this piece of string is actually at the right size the only not uh, original piece on this bike is the seat it has a puck seat which actually sits pretty nice I like it, so I'm gonna keep it. Uh, other than that, I think uh, clean the carb, check the fuel pad cock, check the spark plug, check the oil, um, tension the chain and give it some fresh grease and a, well, a clean up. So let's get to it. I had to do a side of the road repair once uh, one of the nuts actually fell out sadly enough I lost it still have to search for another one but I can still access everything with just one nut off so Flandre used to reuse a lot of parts as you can see here there is a hole in the crankcase this is for the older model blocks that use the same uh, crank halves and um, the old models were crank fed the newer ones are actually cylinder fed so the carburetor is mounted the cylinder with a port here it used to be uh, mounted on a crankcase the biggest difference on which you can see the older new blocks if they are still original are the cases the old model blocks have round cases the newer ones are these angled cases so that's the biggest difference this has also an Encari uh, carburetor, just like the Comet. So they're pretty simple to remove and clean. So just basically remove this screw and you can slide the carburetor off. So let's take it off and clean it up. So the carbon is back, is back out of the ultrasonic cleaner, it's all cleaned up, again with compressed air as well. And if you guys want me to keep making detailed videos of these carb uh, cleanups and how to pull them apart, then please let me know. I'll keep doing it because I think otherwise it will become boring if I keep telling you the same stuff about the same carburetors. Uh, if not, let me know. So let's put this thing back together. So the 
carbs back on. Let's uh, open the fuel. Fuel still flows. That's nice. Uh, I've already checked the spark plug. Still fine. Oil is also still fine because I did it last year. And uh, let's see if this thing still fires up. For these bikes to start, you have to actually push the pedal backwards. There we go. Still runs pretty nice. This thing has a bad vibration too, but it had it since I got it, so I live, learned to live with it. Sweet! Another one done. So let's see which one is the next. That'll probably be the Amigo. This one up here. So if you want to see maintenance on that one, that's, that'll actually be the first time I'll open it because I don't have this bike for that long. Uh, if you want to see that as well, make sure to subscribe. If you've liked this video, please leave a like. See you in the next one. Peace!